Years ago, these items were a part of most American homes. Today, they've become valuable antiques. One might wonder if our modern-day appliances will ever provide the nostalgic memories evoked by these artifacts of yesteryear. Dr. Edwin P. Costin is a man who appreciates his past, but today he's in a personal crisis. He's lost the will to practice medicine. But even as he's rejecting tomorrow, he's about to come face to face with yesterday. And his future will never be the same. My husband Edwin was an excellent doctor, but lately he had been seeing fewer and fewer patients. I could sense he was slipping into a depression, so I suggested we take some time off and travel down some country roads, soak up the local color. In the old days, that always cheered Edwin up, but this time it wasn't working. I was beginning to fear that he might never practice medicine again. Are you sure you really want to go in there, Kay? Looks more like a junk shop than an antique store. I love these old places. Come on, Edwin. You never know what you'll find when you get inside. All right. At least maybe we can get something cold to drink. It's 115. How can anybody work in this heat? I had picked some time to go sightseeing. The entire South was in the midst of a record heat wave, which didn't help Edwin's mood. I didn't want to admit it, but Edwin was right. It was a dust trap inside, and it was impossible to tell the antiques from the junk. And the eccentric owner didn't seem to help matters either. Well, hey there! Welcome to Daddy Man's. I apologize about the heat, but the swamp cooler has been down since electricity blew a few days ago. You wouldn't happen to have something cold to drink, would you? Oh, sorry, like I said, there ain't no electricity. But I do have some homemade lemonade. There ain't no ice, but at least it's wet. That'd be great. Uh, thank you. Picked it right off the trees out back. Pretty colorful old guy. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Real colorful. Come on, Ed. Could you at least pretend to be having a good time? I'm sorry. I'll try. Lemonade sweet enough for y'all? Yeah. Edwin had that faraway look again, like all the life was draining out of him. I wondered if he would ever return to his practice. And then... Okay. Hmm? Look at this. What is it? It's an old ice box, like the kind my grandmother had. Everybody else owned the refrigerator, but she wouldn't give up that old ice box of hers. I remember you mentioning that a long time ago. This thing brings back a lot of memories. When I was eight years old, it was my job to carry ice to my grandma's every other day. It was my special chore. My mother gave it to me. She didn't feel that she could depend on my brothers. Your mom was right. I probably wouldn't have become a doctor if it wasn't for that old icebox. A lot of kids my age were quitting school, going off on their own. I even ran away once, but after a few hours, I began to worry about who was keeping Grandma's icebox full. Your grandma meant a lot to you. She encouraged me to do something with my life. Yeah. If it wasn't for her, I probably never would have become a doctor. If you folks are interested in this antique icebox, I can make you a good deal on it. It was just brought in this morning. Thank you. But we're not really interested. I'm extremely surprised you folks couldn't find anything you liked amongst all those valuable antiques. Hey! You gotta help me. My partner's collapsed. We, we was working and, and he just passed out. Okay, get my bag. What's wrong with him? It's acute heat exhaustion. Pulse is very weak. We have to get him inside, out of the heat. Gotta get his body temperature down immediately. 
I need ice and some wet sheets. Like I told you, there ain't no ice, and the tap water's hot as Hades. This man will die if we don't cool him down. Come on, Doc, you gotta do something. Jeff, you know, That's right. my eldest boy, Jeff, so he can't in die. Edwin! You thirsty? Come on. Edwin! There's ice in this thing. Well, how'd that get there? Get them sheets. Get something to break that ice up with. How's that? Is that enough? How are you doing? Feeling better? Yeah. You're going to be all right. I want you to take him to the hospital. Check him out. Just a precaution. He's going to be okay. Thank you, Doc. You just stay calm till the ambulance gets here, Jeffrey. You're going to be just fine. We'll get you back to work. How did that block of ice get in that box? I don't know. It's like a miracle. I don't believe it. What? Mm -hmm. It's my name. Right where I carved it with an ice pick 40 years ago. Okay. This is my grandma's ice box. Edwin and I purchased the ice box, and it sits in our home today. Edwin hasn't suffered a crisis of confidence since. In fact, he's a better doctor than he ever was. All thanks to that old wooden ice box. Is this just an amazing coincidence? Or was the spirit of Dr. Costin's grandmother somehow watching over him? And even if you accept the fact that the same ice box could have shown up years later, hundreds of miles away, how do you explain the ice inside of it? Was the ice box delivered to Daddy Mac's store with the ice already inside? Is this story based on solid reality? Or is it as fleeting as a block of ice on a steamy summer afternoon?